We're going to look at a couple of reports in QuickBooks Online, the balance sheet and the profit and loss. So to begin with, you should have your QBO file up in Atom. If you don't have one, you can just Google QBO test drive and you can jump into a, a test account and um, with me along here, okay? After you get in, you're gonna look on the left-hand side and click on reports. All right, um, one of the first things I do working with clients is I want to see what the balance sheet looks like, particularly if I'm taking on an engagement of working with their books, I wanna see what the balance sheet looks like and verify, trust and verify that that is good going forward. Uh, so we just click on under recommended balance sheet. And the purpose of the balance sheet is to report a snapshot of the business at a certain time frame. Um, where assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Okay, let's look here. These little triangles here will allow you to um, open and close them. So, okay. So this should always match the same account, uh, the balance assets number will equal your liabilities. So what are assets? Let's look further. You'll see assets being you know, your checking account, any cash that you have. That includes accounts receivable. Those are those would be folks that owe the, you the money in the business. It could also be inventory assets, um, as well as undeposited funds. Undeposited funds in QuickBooks is basically, you've recognized that you've received payment from a customer, you kind of put it in a storage location, quote unquote, to have it available. So that way when you actually do make your bank deposits, you can basically take those accounts and push them into uh, the, the bet checking or savings account, wherever you're gonna move that to. We recommend that you do undeposited funds if you're gonna create multiple checks uh, payments in one bank day. Uh, so it's easier to manage that. Certainly when you're trying to reconcile the accounts, it's easier to go undeposited funds into the checking accounts. But anyways, um, you'll see that we also have some fixed assets as well, some truck costs, and those are the totals of the assets, okay? Now let's take a look at the liabilities. Liabilities being what does the business owe, such as accounts payable, some debt would be in here. Um, you can see these numbers here we have. If we wanted to see what's on that, MasterCard right now, which is really nice. You can just click through and take a look at those uh, credit card uh, charges there and our balance there, okay? And you can see these are transactions that have occurred and so forth. Ultimately, when you run a balance sheet, you wanna look at the end date as far as where that is gonna affect. Okay. Uh, righty, so there we have, and the opening balance equity, that should be zeroed out by the time we get this up and going here. Again, this is just a test account drive here. Okay, I'm gonna now show you the profit and loss statement, which is a very powerful, if the balance sheet's like taking a picture of a certain time of the business, of so the assets, liabilities, then the profit and loss statement will be like a video recording from a specific start and end date, so typical, you would need it for your tax purposes. You would have a profit and loss statement for the 2017 year. A business owner might look to see what the profit and loss was of, of a particular month or quarter, or maybe there's a marketing campaign and you want to just do it for 13 days. You can drill down to whatever time frame that you want. So as you click through the profit and loss, you want to make sure that you have the current frame of mind that you'd like to report on. Let's do this month. And the profit and loss is pretty straightforward. You're gonna take your income. It's a bunch of plussing up numbers, bringing in the income that you have. Um, then you start to subtract expenses. That includes cost of goods sold, fixed costs, job materials, and so forth, and to get to your bottom line number here. Neat thing about this profit and loss here is if you wanted to drill down, you can do that as well. Um, before I do that, let me just kind of hide these, get a bit higher picture here. Okay. So 
We have a net income bottom line, $1,637.36. Let's take a look at how that looks for this current year. <laughs> Same, <laughs> uh, right? I think so. Anyways, this is a little, this is a dummy account. So uh, we would expect that to be larger if the business was in operation for the whole year. Uh, so I am curious about plants and soil right here. I'm just going to click on this number here that will open up the different transaction or transactions that make up that total here. And we can start to see uh, these different job materials categorized as plants and soil. So this one here to Travis, I'm curious about on November 1st now, we can click on any of these here and that's going to open up the actual invoice. And now I can see a, a clearer picture for how that number came about. Here we go. We've got uh, landscaping sod 2020s at 15 coming up with the 300 here is where that was coming from. So that is where we're at right now and to get out we just need to click on this x here and if i want to go back up to the report summary i'll do that so often i find that when you get into profit and loss you might come down and you might see some uncategorized expenses um, here we've got miscellaneous let's come in here and try to push those into something else different okay Okay, so a two thousand dollar amount on the uh, for the insurance. I'm going to go ahead and try to recategorize that, which is really nice if we do that. Let's see if we've got some kind of a professional fees services. Well. Let's just assume. Let's just assume that um, this was a legal and professional fees here. It, it, as you as you know what to categorize it. The, the the main point here is you can go in, change the account, save it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then you'll see that that $2,000 has left the category for miscellaneous. If I go back to the report summary, it is now going to be $2,000 hitting a different expense account under the account lawyer. Here it is right here. So under legal and professional fees, you'll see we've got $2,400. Now this number down here is still the same. It's just got different categorized. And that becomes powerful. Here we go. There's that value right there. When you want to compare a profit and a loss to maybe this time last year. And what we'll do if you wanted to do that is when you get into your profit and loss here. Oh, here's what I was looking for. I had earlier collapse it. Just bring it down. And there's an opportunity here to change this to view it by the previous year. And that could be a percent dollar amount change or a percent change or either one. Once you do that, run report. Now I know we're probably not gonna have data from last year, but if we did, we would see how much we've earned this year compared to last year and what the differences are of percents and values. So really handy to be able to have those reports. So again, to find the profit and loss statement report and the balance sheet, head over to the reports, find it under recommended or all reports,